Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to add pedal markings to a piano score. And I'm talking about kind of the modern style where we have a line that goes underneath the staff and then kind of a little pointy triangle thing right at the point where your foot does this little lift up and down. If you play the piano, you know what I mean. So this is how we're going to add it. I'm going to come over to the keyboard palette and open it up and you'll see there's a variety of symbols. The first two are kind of the old style with the script ped and the asterisk indicating the place to uh, release. But we're not going to use those. We're going to use the kind that has that nice little angle uh, pointer thing. So I want my pedal to start here on the first note of the measure and I want the lift to occur on that F sharp, right on beat three. So what I want to do is I want to select all the way from that B flat to that F sharp. So I click the B flat and then shift click the F sharp to select that entire range. And now I'm going to come over to the palette and I'm going to add this version here, the one with the uh, straight start hook but the angled end hook. When I add that, you'll see now we have a nice straight line at the beginning and we have half of our little uh, bracket thing, our little pointer. We have half of that. So now I want to add the next segment of this line. I'm going to start on the F sharp and I want the lift to appear at the beginning of the next letter, measure on the G. So again, I'm going to shift click that G. Notice that I'm not just selecting to the end of the measure. I am selecting the first note of the next measure, the note that you actually want that lift to appear on. So it's often going to seem like you're selecting one more note than you think you need to, but it's the note you want that lift to appear below. So now that I've selected my range, I can uh, click the this version of the icon where it says both hooks angled and you'll see they automatically get nice nicely lined up here so that they match and you get that symbol that little angle symbol for the lift and then we have half of it ready for the next measure um, and so I can apply that. In fact, there's an extra little trick worth knowing, and that is that you can actually copy and paste this. If, if the next segment is going to be the same duration, which is basically two beats plus one note, then I can select that uh, segment here. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Select that segment, control C to copy, and then select that first note we want to apply it to, and control V to paste. And I'll get that segment with that same duration, two beats plus one note. And then you can do that as often as you want. But remember, it's not always gonna be two beats that you wanna do the pedal or every measure. You need to do it whenever the chord changes. But I will leave that up to you to figure out where you want it to happen. In this tip, I just wanted to focus on how to make it happen.